Do you not wish that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam be in your in your in your place? Do you not wish that you be back at home with your family and Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam be in your place? And he said, "Wallahi, I would not wish that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam be even prick, pricked by a thorn." I would not wish that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam be even pricked by a thorn. When once when Abu Bakr may Allah have mercy upon him, when he was being lashed, once when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam when he was when he was prostrating in the Kaaba when he was praying to the Kaaba and he was prostrating, then the then the then the, then the kuffar of Quraysh saw him and they and they bought the ent- en- entrails of of a of a of a camel that they had slaughtered and they put it on the back of 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 Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And so when Abu Bakr saw this, he came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. He came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and took this off and took the entrails of this camel off off the back of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And so and he went went to to these mushrikeen to this Quraysh and he started telling them off for what they for, for what they did. So the mushrikeen they started to beat Abu Bakr and they beat him and beat him and beat him so much until Abu Bakr fell 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 fainted. And he fell fainted so the people of Abu Bakr his tribe came and took him back. And when after a couple of hours Abu Bakr regained his consciousness when he regained his consciousness Abu Bakr what was the first thing he said what was the first thing he said he said wallahi how is rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam the very first thing that he said was how is rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam this is the true love of a companion for his true beloved rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam also in the battle of uhud there was a woman from banu dinar and we do not know what this woman's name was this woman from banu dinar She came to the battle of Badr to see what had happened and 70 of the Muslims had died and 37 of the non-Muslims had died so 70 of the Muslims had died in, in the battle of Badr so she came and passed by a corpse in front of her and said what is this corpse and because it had been mutilated because the mushrikeen had come and cut off their noses and their ears and cut open their their, their chests and taken out their hearts and their livers and so she asked who is this corpse and so one of the companions replied this is your father This is your father also and so then she went and and passed by another corpse and said who is this he said oh this is your brother this is your brother and so she passed by another corpse and said who is this this is your son three of her family members her father her brother and her son had died then she asked but where is rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said where is rasulullah then the companion said look he is there he is there so she went to rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said oh rasulullah Truly O Rasulullah as long as you are all right then all my worries are nothing so truly O Rasulullah as long as you are okay you are my beloved truly as long as you are okay then everything else is nothing everything else is nothing as long as you are okay O Rasulullah everything else is nothing in the battle of badr in the battle of badr saad ibn quzay he was from one of the fighters one of the, one of the people of one of the people of of the ansar one of the ansar He was he was lining up to fight the people of 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 Badr, and uh, and uh, the, the fight the mushrikeen on the day of Badr. And when the people when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was going past with his with his stick and he was correcting people and putting them into line. Saad ibn Quzay, this person he started coming out of line. He started coming out of line. He started coming out of line. So Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam saw him and he went with his stick and hit him on his stomach. He he hit him on his stomach and hurt him. So Saad ibn Quzay said. Ya Rasulullah what is this? What is this O Rasulullah? You have hurt me and I want recompense O Rasulullah. I want recompense. I wish to hit you back O Rasulullah. You have hurt me so I wish to hurt you back. So Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam he lifted his stone and said hit me back. He said hit me back. And so Sa'ad ibn Quzay he came to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he hugged Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam and he kissed him. He kissed him on his stomach. So all the companions saw this and said what is this O Sa'ad? Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Oh, ya Sa'ad, ma hamalaka ala hadha? What has caused you to do this, O Sa'ad?" So Sa'ad ibn Quzay said, "Oh, Rasulullah, you see the mushrikeen in front of us, and soon after a little while we will be fighting, and I know that I may die in this battle. So, Rasulullah, I wish that the last thing that my body touches is your skin, O Rasulullah." Imagine the love for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Imagine the love for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Do you not remember how this tree was crying for Rasulullah? When when Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was giving the, the the khutbah and thereafter when the number of muslims became so much when the number of, number of muslims became so much that there was felt a need to build a uh, to build a minbar for Rasulullah so a minbar was built and when Rasulullah Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam started to give his khutbah from the minbar they could hear the hanin al hanin al jazar they could hear the, the the windings of the tree they could hear a sound coming from the tree an authentic hadith in bukhari they could hear this the, the sound coming from the tree so Rasulullah
Rasulullah turned towards the tree, it was as if the tree was crying. It was as if the tree was crying. So Rasulullah went to the tree and put his hands on the tree, and then the tree stopped crying. The tree stopped crying. An authentic hadith in Bukhari. So some of the Salaf said, if this tree was able to cry, if a tree, a thing that does not have life, if a tree who is not obliged to love Rasulullah was able to cry for missing Rasulullah are not a people who say that their prophet is Rasulullah more worthy of crying for missing him? Are not you or people more worthy of crying for missing Rasulullah Are you not more, more worthy of missing him? When Rasulullah had died, the first and the most, the, the, the dua that the people of Medina used to make all the time to, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was that, Oh Allah, Oh Allah, give us the meeting of Rasulullah at the pond. Because the first time that, we, that inshallah all of us will meet Rasulullah if we, die on, if we die as Muslims is on the pond of Al Kawthar. We will inshallah meet him on the pond of Al Kawthar. This is the first time we will meet him. So the companions after the Prophet ﷺ had died used to make dua to Allah. Oh Allah, give us the meeting of our Habib. Oh Allah, give us the meeting of our beloved Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam at the pond of Al Kawthar. Anas, may Allah have mercy upon him. He used to say, I see Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in my dreams every night. He said, I see Rasulullah. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in my dreams every night, except in the odd nights in which I did not see him. So he raised his hands up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He raised his hands up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and said, oh, oh Allah, please let me see my beloved even on the odd nights. He said, Oh Allah, let me see my beloved even on the odd nights. How many of us have ever seen Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in his dream? Yet Anas used to see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam every day, except in the, in the odd days. Every even night he used to see Rasulullah. And so he used to make dua to Allah, Oh Allah, I cannot bear this. I cannot bear missing my Prophet even for one day. So let me even see him even on the odd days. <coughs> Sa'ad ibn Abi Waqqas, may Allah have mercy upon him. He used to say, Wallahi, there was nothing more beloved to us than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa He said, there was nothing more beloved to us than Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and my eyesight had not seen anything more beloved to me than Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It's an authentic hadith in Bukhari, in, in Muslim. He said nothing had my eyes had seen nothing more beloved than Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. And wallahi, we could not make ourselves look at Rasulullah. He said we, the companions, because of a great praise and a love and exaltation of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, we could not make ourselves look at Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. No wonder, because they loved Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam so much, they could not bear, bear to even put their eyesight at Rasulullah. So whenever Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam came in front of them, they would always be looking down. Always be looking down. Naam ya Rasulullah. Naam ya Rasulullah. Naam may my father and my, my, and my mother be sacrificed for you, O Rasulullah. What do you command me? What do you order me? O Rasulullah, love you for Allah's sake. This is how the companions were. This is how the companions were. An example of the true great love for Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Once Abdullah ibn Umar, Abdullah ibn Umar, the son of Umar, came to came to Umar and said, O O O my O my father, O Umar, O my father. Why do you love Osama so much? Why do you love Osama? This particular companion called Osama. Why do you love him so much? You love him more than me. Why do you love him more than me? By Allah, I, he has never beaten me to any battle. By Allah, he has never beaten me to any, any battle. I have always been better than him in every battle. So why do you love him more than me, O oh, oh my father? So Umar, may Allah have mercy upon him. He said, indeed, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to love Usama more than you. He said, indeed, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam used to love Usama more than you. So I prefer the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam rather than my love. I prefer the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam rather than my love. How many of us prefer the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam over, over, and above, over and above our own love? We know Rasulullah used to love Hassan and Hussein. We know Rasulullah used to love Aisha and Abu Bakr. We know he used to love Khadija. He used to love, he used to love the Ansar. He used to love the Muhajirin. He used to love them more than our own people. He used to love them more than our own families. So how do we love our own families more than them? How do we love our own families more than them? Rather, we should prefer the love of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 